Now at 11, FIFA Raid. They corrupted the business of worldwide soccer to serve their interests and to enrich themselves. Leaders of soccer's global governing body accused of tarnishing the sport by taking $150 million in bribes and payoffs. Well, the FBI raids took place right here in South Florida and also in Zurich, Switzerland. Good evening, I'm Rick Fulbaum. And I'm Erica Sargent. A total of 14 people have been charged and six have already pleaded guilty. CBS 4's Carrie Codd joins us live from the CONCACAF headquarters on Miami Beach, the site of one of the raids. Carrie. Erica and Rick, FBI agents descended on this building here behind me, headquarters of the governing body of soccer here in the U.S., Central America, and the Caribbean. Investigators in New York say the corruption in worldwide soccer is rampant and systemic. FBI agents took armloads of boxes and computers from the headquarters of CONCACAF, the governing body of soccer in the U.S., Central America, and the Caribbean. The raid, which began on Miami Beach early Wednesday morning, was part of a sweeping international investigation of top soccer officials. Several were arrested at a major soccer conference in Switzerland. You had a business that was operating like a criminal enterprise. Defense attorney David Weinstein, who reviewed the indictment, says the scheme operated simply. They were taking millions and billions of dollars in bribes. They were shedding, setting up corporations to promote the soccer tournaments. And if you didn't pay them a bribe, you didn't get the tournament. Two charged in the scheme live in South Florida. Costas Takis, who worked for CONCACAF's president, and a man named Aaron Davidson, president of Traffic Sports USA. Davidson owns a North American soccer league team in North Carolina. The league said in a statement that it suspended chairperson Aaron Davidson. U.S. prosecutors said top officials from soccer's governing body, FIFA, accepted millions in bribes from marketing executives in exchange for commercial rights to lucrative events. They corrupted the business of worldwide soccer to serve their interests and to enrich themselves. Seven soccer officials were arrested in Switzerland. They're part of a 14-person indictment that alleges racketeering, money laundering, and wiretapping over two decades. Former FIFA Vice President Jack Warner is among the defendants. He is proclaiming his innocence. FIFA President Sepp Blatter has not been accused of any wrongdoing and said he welcomes the investigation. Broadcaster Phil Sean has called three World Cups. He says for those who follow soccer, the accusations appear to confirm long-standing rumors. It can be viewed as a black eye in some ways, but at the same point it could also be viewed as a chance to do things right. Prosecutors made it clear this is just the beginning of their investigation. Investigators also said they plan to bring those seven FIFA officials charged abroad here to the U.S. to face criminal charges. However, many of those officials have already said they plan to fight extradition. Live on Miami Beach, Carrie Codd, CBS 4 News tonight. Carrie, thank you. And now at 11, a South Florida.